Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're in very, very peaceful at Great Yarmouth. Uh, for the news this week, I might have to shout a bit, for this is how the British people celebrate their bank holiday weekends. Have a look, there's the pier. That's the theatre where we're doing the show on Sunday night. You can still get tickets, go to Britannia Pier, whatever it is, online, and come along and see me and Bobby Davro. In a minute, I'm gonna try and work out how this works. No, I'm not. Come on, I'll show you around Yarmouth. No, I won't get in there. Yeah, so the live show is on Sunday. We're just trying to work out how we're going to keep 30 lifeboatmen sober because they're opening the show with a, a wonderful song called uh, Home From The Seas. Um, this is our transport. We've got all our gear in here and uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready to go. This is a typical seaside resort. As you can see, it's empty at the moment. Everyone with their fingers crossed that works here that it's going to be a good summer. And I hope it is going to be a good summer. But you know, the politicians should get their asses up here and have a look round. The local politician here is Brandon Lewis. I don't know what minister he is at the moment, but he's someone needs to be minister of holiday resorts because these really do need a little lick of paint uh, to get the people here. Who wants to go to Costa Brava? I'd rather have a day down Yarmouth with all my family, Chaz and Dave. Come on, I'll show you around. Shout out. So, as you can see, what the people of Great Yarmouth, the people that work here and live here, they have to rely on a summer season that's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. I remember coming here and doing 20, you know, 20 weeks in the summer season. I own the pier down the end there, the Wellington Pier and, uh, and, and the Winter Gardens, which is now derelict. They are going a little bit crumbly, uh, these towns. And of course, I was speaking to all the people that have got the arcades, you know, the slot machines and the little funny cranes. Uh, they're now worried about this government white paper that's coming out uh, that's saying that under 25 should have some form of scrutiny when they want to have a gamble. So where does that end? Does that include, uh, you know, picking that crane up? No one ever wins anything on them cranes anyway. I don't really talk about like that. <laughs> yes, I remember hiding behind one of those crane machines while Stevie Farr did something awful to some... Anyway, I won't go into that. We don't want to be uh, shot, shut down here. Now, don't forget folks coming up this next week the 3rd and 4th of May down in um, Wimborne at the Tivoli Theatre there is left right and centre that's going to be great I'm going to be on a couple of the shows uh, loads of comedians hosted by the brilliant Miles Crawford whose birthday it is today happy birthday Miles uh, old boy and on the 17th and 18th in South Sea two nights two lots of different shows loads and loads of jokes on proper comedians uh, starring Jimmy Jones, uh, myself, Duncan Norvell, Bobby Davro, Mike Osman, Ricky Lane, you name it, they're on it. It's gonna be fantastic. And it's a great, great venue, good bar. The bar stays open all the time. It's like comedy meets darts. Okay then, so we'll see you there. Right, let's get over to Ustream. Jake and have a quick natter. Head over to the Ustream shop now for exclusive merchandise and goodies, including Ustream polo shirts, Scooby will you t-shirts, and some I don't care do I t-shirts. Treat yourself or a mate to our exclusive mugs. You can also buy a DVD Ustream original live concerts, including me, Danny Postill, and in fact, loads of stuff, even the fantastic boobs in the wood. Go to ustream.news forward slash shop. <laughs> 